Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. 20 seconds after I start up the engine, I get a code and a check engine light. The P0410. The right bank of cylinders with malfunction of secondary air injection and left bank. So let's check these out and see what is the problem. Secondary air pump, it lives over here. And it basically has an intake that gets the uh, air from the air filter box and then there are two exhaust outlets that pushes the air whenever needed when the solenoid asks on both banks to the exhaust so it basically tries to warm up the catalytic converter for less than 40 seconds after the startup when the engine and the cat is cold. So that's what it does. It it's only does the emission, but it can cause a check engine light to come on. So let's go ahead. We have a connector over here. We pull it out and we test the secondary air intake to see if it works or not. So I've got 12 volts over here, five amp, and I have removed the plug. As you can see, you only need to push the two tabs on it and then pull it out. So it rotates, but it doesn't rotate perfectly. I'm using an 11 amp battery, motorcycle battery, and let's check this out. So I would say, yeah, there is no problem with the air injection pump. Assuming that this air pump works, let's assume that it works. There are few other uh, components that plays a big role over here. This is, for example, a kind of a valve, an electric valve that gets vacuum from the engine and it sends the vacuum to this valve over here that sends the uh, pressurized air coming from this air injection to the engine when needed as well as this so as you can see the T connection over here sends the vacuum to that vacuum valve as well so here we also need to check this uh, solenoid to see if it actually works or not and checking this is not so difficult because if we apply power to this, it should actually uh, let the air to pass to this section. And there is a diagram over here, as you can see. So the vacuum gets bypassed through these two uh, hoses if we apply 12 volts to this uh, connector over here. So let's test this too. To pull this solenoid out, you only need to pull this tab away like that and pull this away just like that. But before that, you need to remove this connector over here and that's easy. So now we're going to apply power to those two pins. I can see the red is on top. So basically, if I get a click here, that means the solenoid is good. I am getting a click, so I can say that the solenoid is good. I've got 29 ohms of resistance over here. Okay, the first thing we should check whenever we have an electrical issue, a possible electrical issue, is the fuses and the relays. The fuse 107 is this one. The 40 amp fuse is related to air injection, secondary air injection pump. And the relay is easy to spot. It's the one at the front. So this one is the relay for it. 
You can check it using a multimeter, you can pull it out and inspect it as well. And if the fuse is okay, you can always check the relay as well. That's easy. So you just need to pull out the relay and I show you in five seconds how to check it. So you have a very nice diagram over here. So you know 85 and 86 is what makes this relay to click. So if we apply power to 85 and 86, the 87 and 30 should be uh, jumped or shorted. So here we got 86 and 85 and if I apply power it clicks. 30 and 87 by applying power to 85 and 86 we should get a buzz. So our relay is not faulty and good. Also these fuses they do have an inspection window over here. If you remove this glass it is much more visible. So our fuse is good. So what about the uh, pump itself? What the reading for the resistance for the secondary air pump should be? Let's try that too. So it has 0.2 of an ohm which is almost zero. The next test would be if I take these hoses off and start up the engine and I remove this connector so I don't get any bypass through this valve over here. I should not get exhaust gases coming out of the, this one as well as the other one. Okay, accidentally I forgot to remove this connector and you notice that on both banks I had exhaust gas loudly coming out of those two uh, shut off valves. So that was one check that actually this solenoid over here was working, the, electric, the electronic was working and even the vacuum line was working. The only thing that was absent was the air injection pump. The connector was disconnected. So now let's check again with the air pump connected and the solenoid disconnected. There should be no exhaust gas and no loud exhaust sound coming from these shut-off valves. So in the second scenario with the uh, solenoid connector off, you notice that there was no noise and no exhaust gases coming out of these two uh, shutoff valves. So I can definitely say this system is working perfectly. The reason why the air injection pump didn't come on is because the catalytic converter temperature was probably higher than what triggers it to turn on. Okay, so I put everything back and now I just want to go ahead and start the car. The only reason why this system was not working previously was that the previous owner took the fuse out of the fuse box. So I put it back, the fuse is now back, so the system now should work properly. The reason why the previous owner removed the fuse might be a noisy pump. But let's try that and see what happens. Okay, let's remove these errors before starting the engine. Codes cleared. 
and boom, system passed no fault code. Okay, no check engine light. Okay, now that I'm checking again this uh, the fault codes for the engine I can see that there is nothing except P0016 and 17 which is related to camshaft so the fault with uh, air injection pump is gone it was there obviously because of the fuse missing for some reason okay guys so what we did we tested few of the items related to the secondary air pump uh, so now we know that these items are all working all the parts working all the holes connected and we get vacuum and the system is working properly because we are not getting any more fault codes also we tested the fuse and relay so i think every single part for the secondary air pump is tested Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Please have another look at my channel. I've got lots of videos coming as well. Let's go.